and it's those sort of shots, the previous shot by Yusuf Tamura that went for four is causing that, where people are trying to hit the with a horizontal bat instead of a more vertical bat. And a big, big shout. It was the Doozra. Simon Tawful seeming to indicate he couldn't see. If Mulitton's run in front of him. Freedy totally deceived. Dusra. Uh, is it the height? Oh. Ah! Another massive shout from Muralithran. Freedy just struggling to come to terms at the moment. Muralithran. Going on with the arm. And Torfu thinking that's going to miss leg stump. And a big appeal. Another big appeal. We've seen plenty of those in the last few overs. Use of this time. Back on his stumps. Gee, well, is it just going with the arm down or is it just going to clip leg stump? Getting the benefit of the doubt. The use of getting off strike. On strike in the commentary box. Got Ian Bishop and Ravi Shastri. Thank you very much, Nick. I thought that might have hit leg stump. In uh, some shape or form. Yeah, that what, that's what it looked like to me. I'm not sure if he got an inside edge. But he was right back on his stump, so the ball didn't have that far to travel. Someone's getting under it. Afridi's gone. The spinners are working magic for Sri Lanka. Well, he's a wily old fox, Sanajay Surya. Doesn't bowl that much in test matches, but has a terrific record in the one-day game. He's beaten Boom Boom in flight. Up in the air, and this is a good catch under pressure. Upul Taranga kept his eyes on the ball, made no mistake. And the pressure firmly and squarely on Pakistan now. Afridi departs. Sanath Jasuriya and uh, Mutamar Alitaran uh, causing a lot of problems here. Shurt Malik is the new batsman. He replaces Shahid Afridi. He's never oh. there to the pitch of the ball. You've got the height, not the distance. Good catch under pressure. Oh, he steered that away. He reached the boundary. He was standing wide, Jay Vardana. He's played it late. He was in control of that shot. That's gone into the gap. It'll be a boundary. Oh, he stops it with his boot. Dilhara Fernando does well. For a moment, I thought it was uh, stiff, really, to stop that one from going across to the boundary. 142 for four. It's a good boot on it. Now, is the boot on the rope? Looks like it is. I think that's going to be four runs. Valiant effort. It's getting tighter and tighter now for Pakistan. 95 from 96 balls. So Sri Lankans have pulled things back quite nicely here. Let's try to read the minds of these two batsmen out there. He's coming back for the second. Good work done. Oh, chance of a run out. Gone. Mohamed Yusuf is gone. Run out for the 33rd time. Would you believe it? And that just sums up the atmosphere in the dressing room. Bob Bulma gutted. It's a huge bonus for the Sri Lankans. The smiles are back. Well, pressure was building. Really been run out a couple of times. Got lucky initially. And a slight misfield. Well, who would know that would bring the wicket? 
Shadi Malik just not coming back, and I don't think there was a third. Jaldina, he knows. He knows. Look at that. He knows what a massive moment that's probably going to be in this game. Bob Warmer. Poor Bob Warmer. Joseph out for 49. Run out. He's done 161 for five. Kamran Akmal is the new man in replacing Mohammed Yusuf. What a setback that was. Mohammed Yusuf run out for 49. It's a straight drive. He's off the mark with a confident shot. It's a good drive. But Malik is a good athlete. He got in... Uh, very quickly. What next for Pakistan now? Maybe a partnership of 40 between these two. Stretches to 50. And at a good pace. And then uh, look for heroics from Abdul Razak, Ran and Naweed. Still end up an interesting game. Nice oh, for drive. Sure. oh, for sure, Ramiz. And Pakistan have got good strikers coming in. They can score quickly, but they need a platform. The platform's not quite set yet, is it? It's running, going at 6 point not runs per over at this stage of the game. It's not going to be easy for Pakistan. You're right, they need a partnership, but they can't afford to lose too many... take up too much time getting there. To make matters worse for them, Sri Lankans have fielded brilliantly. It can't be easy out there with the due factor. Difficult to grip the ball. There's to 47 between Yusuf and Malik at last effort. Oh, he swung across it and got away with it, but just one. They're in a good position, Sri Lanka, where a batter's taking a high risk for a low return. And once the run rate gets over, run a ball, we're going to we're going to see more and more of this. Did that, what did that come from? It certainly came from pad. And then, yes, off the glove. Come on, Maya. Jai Surya. Last ball of his spell. Just two from the over. Some room. It's going to finish with a boundary. It took them 10 overs to get one from him. Six off the last over. He's going to finish with 10 overs, one for 33. 193 for five. Super shot this. Jasura has bowled a beautiful spell. Just getting a bit short. Not a lot of pace behind it. Akmal's got time. Gave himself a bit of room. The important thing, he punched it into the gap. Ponderous six. Well, that's a cracking shot. Joel Malik just been nudging the ones and twos, sized up merely. Sri Lanka's best bowler. And that's an excellent hook. Ran at the ball. Middle of the bat. Fantastic. <laughs> 